All right, so game plan for this morning is I have a condenser swap out first thing, which means I don't need this truck. I could leave it down by the mechanic. Hopefully he can get the power inverter wired up. And that gives us the whole afternoon to swap everything over into this truck. I tried to park it in the most obnoxious spot possible. So hopefully it gets done, but the likelihood of that expressed as a percent and rounded to the nearest whole number is zero. Not gonna miss this. So I got here a little ahead of the condenser. You can disconnect power and pull the refrigerant out of the system. Maybe cut it out, but we'll see what happens by the time he gets here. The this one. I was here a couple weeks ago while I was kind of on my hiatus and uh, I condemned the unit. So just getting back now, it's a beautiful 70 something degree day out. So couldn't pick a better day to be outside and swap out this condenser. It's been a year since I've done this. So it's probably gonna make me look stupid. Okay, this is the plan. What I'm gonna do is vacuum out the recovery tank first. I know it's a brand new tank. Uh, I don't trust it. Maybe I should, maybe I just have trust issues. While I'm vacuuming out the tank, I'll disconnect the power. By then, uh, the condenser should be here. He's only like 25 minutes away. And uh, that gives me plenty of time to sit on my phone and do nothing for like five minutes. I don't think this unit per se was leaking, but it seems low. I mean, it's never a good sign when you make your hose connections and you hear nothing. Not a little as you're tightening it, nothing. Not always the case. I really wanted to have this system have a full charge so I could deduct the 6.07 pound, which, come on, really? 0.07 pounds? From what I pull out, this way I would know roughly how long the lines it is to you know figure out the additional charge, but um, anything under six pounds, not gonna be helpful in this case, which means, uh, you know, I'll have to give it like a good rough estimate and then run the system, see how it does, and maybe at some point when it gets hotter out, come back and have to top it off a little bit more uh, because I'm not exactly sure how long the line set is. I didn't even hear it fill the hoses. Uh -oh. Probably should have checked first if there was a charge before I went through all this effort. Oh, look who's here. You got the hand truck? What the heck is this? What's going on over here? I'm not going crazy. That looks good.
want to, uh, you want to, you want to cut the line set or you want me to cut the line set? What I just realized between changing of the seasons and changing of the trucks, I have no brazing rod. Not my greatest braze job in the world, but it doesn't have to look pretty. Just can't leak. Uh, I didn't realize I was that low on nitrogen. Who oh boy. Fortunately, I know the line set is good and it will hold the charge. This is just to make sure that the connections I made are good. All right, this video is getting a little long, so I'm just gonna jump ahead to when it's running. Vacuum pump's been running for about an hour now. Let's take a look. All right, so in the meantime, he's gonna go and pick up a new tank of nitrogen and some uh, spray bubbles. Uh, I guess I'll do the power in the meantime. Bad news. So unfortunately the supply house did not have any nitrogen. Uh, they might get it tomorrow. I might be able to steal one from one of the guys too at the shop. Um, but it's getting late. I'm not gonna be able to finish this one today, which kind of makes me look like an idiot, but more so it just shows uh how unprepared I was for today's job. You know, doing this truck move and everything, I uh kind of forgot where some stuff was. Uh, in transition. I don't think I moved over all of my air conditioning equipment. I have an AC tune-up to do f Not first thing. It's more like 10 o'clock Which is uh, annoying, but what am I gonna do? Then I should be able to come back I can throw the nitrogen on do a leak detection see where the leaks coming from and Fix it up and at some point move into the truck, but until then I'll see you tomorrow